Welcome. Nope. Stupid. Dumb. Ah. Uh. All right. In this video, I want to talk about ACES and everything that you need to know about ACES. Not everything. I'm actually just going to show you my workflow. Uh, there's going to be timestamps in the description below. There's also going to be links to everything that I talk about um, down below. So let's dive right into it. So what is ACES? Well, ACES is just a color space, a universal color space that allows you to get a really good starting point no matter what cameras that you're using. So you could be using Sony and Canon and take them to a really good starting point and building from there. Now, why is that important? Well, if you've ever shot with multiple cameras, you know that there's a headache that comes along with matching these cameras and there are you know different software and LUTs that allow you to match. But I think if you start with ACES, it becomes a universal starting point. And I think that's universal, meaning like this was actually created by Hollywood. Now, these are not the official ACES conversions. These are just conversions that I grabbed from DaVinci Resolve, which you can do yourself. The conversions back to Rec. 709 are conversions that I made myself and they hold the most dynamic range with really good skin tones. Um, so that's all below. Anyways, back to ACES. You have two forms of ACES, ACES CCT, which stands for camera to camera transfer. And then you have ACES CC, which stands for contrast corrected. Now, I don't know what that really means. All I know is that the curve looks like this. There's a little toe with ACES CCT. Think of it as toe for T. And then contrast corrected is just a straight line from zero to 100 or 1000, whatever the value is. There's two color primaries with ACES. There's, there's AP0 and AP1. AP1 is gonna be the one that you're gonna be focusing the most. It's the one that is most useful to you as the editor. So AP1 is gonna be your best friend. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, why do you wanna use ACES? Well, let's see, right here, camera matching. Who doesn't want a camera match, different log profiles, and have a really good starting point, that's number one. Exposure adjustments, you're less likely to clip your highlights and crush your shadows when adjusting for exposure within ACES. White balance, this is probably my favorite of them all. The ability to white balance in ACES is unreal. Like there's no color casting happening on the shadows or on the highlights. Now there might be depending on the type of white balance that you're working with, but for the most part, you have very little to no color cast happening on shadows, highlights, midtones. It's It white balances really, really nicely. You obviously get better color because of the starting point. You get a lot, of, a lot more flexibility in color if you're working inside of ACES. It's as if you're working with a raw image. Now, it's not raw. I totally understand that, but it feels really, really nice. Uh, I talked about the disclaimers. This is my workflow in Final Cut that does include our paid LUT um, ACES kit, and it's gonna be down in the description below. I'll talk about that in a second, but I'm gonna show you a free way to do it. If you don't wanna pay for it, the free way is also phenomenal and it works perfect. So anyways, here it is, my Final Cut Pro workflow for ACES. Let's dive into the computer. All right, so here we have a project that I've been, uh, a sample project. And, you know, this is, I've imported my footage. Here it is. And you can see that this is going to be my FX3 S Log 3 footage. And right here I have some um, R5C C Log 3 footage. This was shot by my friend Patrick over at Shore and Summit. Check them out, they're awesome. Uh, he was helping me out with a wedding. And this is the same wedding, actually. And I want to show you how I would take both of these different cameras into ACES. You can see down here, I've got it set up. You're going to need adjustment layers. If you don't have an adjustment layer, I have one that you can download for free. It's going to be linked down below. Um, we're going to go to adjustment layers, grab the adjustment layer with a LUT, put that sucker on there. And this is going to be the setup. And you can see we have our clips down here. You have our adjustment layer. And then this, this adjustment layer is going to take us from ACES back to Rec. 709. And then on top of that, you're going to have your color grade or your LUT, whatever you wanna do. 
I'm going to disable that for now because I don't have one right now. So here we go. How do we actually begin the process of ACES? Well, let's take, let's go back to our footage. And the simplest way to do this is to select all of your footage. And I'm going to start with the Sony FX3 footage and, and head over to your inspector. If you don't see this panel, go ahead and select this drop down tab and select general for metadata view and scroll down until you see camera LUT. Right here in camera LUT, once you download everything or you created your own LUTs, go ahead and import them and you'll see them here. So at custom camera LUT, I've already have them. So this is the kit. This is the ASUS CCT workflow LUT kit and it has all of your camera to ASUS CCT conversions and then ASUS CCT to Rec. 709 conversion. Whew, that was a mouthful. So here we go. I'm going to add uh, my Sony S-Log3 S Gamut 3 Cine to ASUS CCT onto my S-Log3 footage. I know that I shot it this way, so this is what I'm gonna do. And you can see right away, it flattened this image just a little bit. So let me turn this off and back on. And it you can see it changing colors and it's doing its own thing. So it's it's grabbing the S-Log3 colors and taking them into an ASUS color space, which is awesome, okay? Now that we have that, let's do the same for the R5C footage. And the interesting thing about the R5C, it Final Cut actually gives you the R5C LUT in the inspector. So it pre-applies it for some weird reason. Anyways, we want to change that. Um, so we're going to grab our ASUS CCT workflow LUT kit, go to camera to ASUS CCT, and then find C -log, Canon C-Log3. I know that this was shot on the cinema gamut. Um, I'm going to grab that one right there. And now you can see that, oh, where is it? There it is. All of our footage is pretty flat, right? So if I turn this off, back on it it kind of flattened flattens that out really really nicely and now we have all of our footage in ASUS CCT now we can grab our clips and start adjusting inside of the clip which makes this process super simple and then use our adjustment layer to take it back to Rec. 709 so I'm gonna do that now so we're gonna grab this adjustment layer ASUS CCT to Rec. 709 and you can add a LUT to this adjustment layer, or I have this adjustment layer in the link below with a LUT already set up. Uh, so go ahead and we're gonna go to ASUS CCT Workflow LUT Kit, go to our ASUS CCT to Rec. 709. I'm just gonna call it ASUS from now on, but you get the point. We're going to head over to our base correction LUT, which is the 1.3, and there we go. So. Now, technically, we went to ACES and went back out of ACES. So anytime that you make an adjustment inside of your clip, it will be in ACES, which is incredible, right? So now let's open up our scopes for a second, take our video out, and here we go. You can see if I make any adjustments in the highlights, it stays within limit. Like it, it doesn't clip it. it. Well, it clips it, but it doesn't go past 100. Or if I go to my shadows and I crush them, it stays within limit, which is awesome. Say that you recorded this footage in a different exposure. So you can grab a second adjustment layer and then convert back using a totally different exposure. Say, let's go to 2.0. And now we've conver converted that over at a 2.0 exposure. And this is where that LUT kit comes into play. You have different exposure levels that you can use. So you're not limited to a single Rec. 709 conversion. You have the flexibility inside of ACES and then after ACES to really dial in your image and how you want it to look. So this is why I am so excited about this LUT kit. Um, and using ACES in Final Cut, making it super simple for anyone to use. After this, you can grab and put a color adjustment layer over here. And that is my workflow in Final Cut for ACES. Super simple, 
straightforward, and it doesn't add a lot more, but it gives you all of the flexibility. You reap all the benefits of ACES. So that's, that's it. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. So let's do that now. In DaVinci Resolve, you want to go ahead and um, open up a new project. Once a project opens up, go ahead and grab some footage. I'm going to grab one clip uh, right here. Change project frame rate. Doesn't matter. You can change it because we're not going to need the project frame rate. Once you have your clips, head over to the color tab and select any of your clips. It really doesn't matter what you have in here. We just need something to put these conversions so that we can create the LUT. I'm going to show you with the Sony FX3 S-Log3 footage so, you, so that you can see what's actually happening. Um, now we have these things called notes. If you don't understand it, it's okay. Just follow through. Right click somewhere in this node panel, add a note add a corrector node and here we go now we have two nodes these are basically adjustment layers select the first node you can rename it so node label we're gonna call this uh, two aces and we're gonna right click the node node label and then two rec 709 okay perfect so now we're gonna take our footage which is, in this case, S-Log3 into ACES using the effects up here. So head over to the effects. S right on this little search icon, you're going, just type in color and use the color space transform for the input space or for the input color space, go to Sony S Gamut 3 dot Cine or whichever you shot. For the input gamma, this is where you're going to put um, the type of like the log footage that you were shooting. So I know that I shot this with S-Log3. And you can see this is starting to do something, but we're not done yet. We want to take this into ACES. Remember we talked about AP0 and AP1? Well, we're going to head over to AP1, ACES AP1 as our color space output. And then for our, our gamma, we're going to choose ACES CCT. And right now, we've technically moved S-Log3 into ACES CCT. On the second node, we're going to do the same thing. So go to the search box and type in color. Use a color space transform. And this time we're going to go from ACES into a Rec. 709. So input color space, ACES, AP1, output gamma, a ACES CCT or sorry input gamma ACES CCT and output color space search for rec 709 output gamma same thing rec 709 and now what we've created is essentially we've taken S log 3 into ACES and then back to rec 709 so then we have something to work with now we're gonna export two LUTs the first LUT is going to be our S log 3 to ACES, so disable the 2 Rec. 709 node by clicking on the node and doing Command D or just click on the number right down here and it'll disable the node. From here, we want to select our clip down, down over here, right click the clip and on Generate LUT, select either 1733 or 65 point. I like 33 just because it's in the middle and then you can save this wherever you want. So you can call this S-Log3 to ACES LUT. And then we're going to do the same thing with our Rec. 709 LUT. And you can see the image is really like saturated, but that's because we took out the conversion into ACES. So don't worry about it, just export it this way and you'll see how it works. So same thing, we're gonna disable the to ACES LUT by clicking on the number or command D and then select the clip right click generate LUT and we're going to call this uh, ACES CCT2 Rec. 709 so now we've created our LUTs and we can take these LUTs into Final Cut and I'll show you that right now 
if we take these LUTs into Final Cut, we're going to select the clip again, go to your inspector. Let's import this LUT, add custom camera LUT. And I have my, I want this from S-Log3 to ACES, which is this one right here. Open. And here we go, we've created that. And then we're going to add our conversion back to Rec. 709. So again, go to your adjustment layer, select choose custom LUT. Go to ACES to Rec. 709, the one you just exported. Open it. And there we go. So now we've done the same thing using DaVinci Resolve. And DaVinci Resolve is absolutely free for anyone to use. So you can do this yourself. Play around with a lot of these settings. But here's a little problem that I've encountered. Do you see this blue right here? It's kind of overly saturated and it's doing some funky stuff. So one way to fix this is going back to DaVinci. We're going to add a node. This time, we're going to go to the search box, type in ACES, transform, drag that into the node. And here we go. We're going to use ACES version 1.3, input transform. We're going to do uh, Sony S-Log3, S-Gamut3, Cine, boom. And then we're going to go output transform uh, into ACES. We're going to do ACES CCT. And then down here, gamut compression type or gamut compress type, you're going to select reference gamut compress. This is going to help you and solve a lot of these issues um, with using these conversions back. So, or sorry, the conversion into ACES. So if we export this one, Let's do that. Generate LUT 33 point um, S log 3 to ACES. We're going to call this version 2. Go back to Final Cut. Select our clip. Add custom camera or camera LUT. And then here it is, the version 2. We're going to open that. And you can see it fixed that issue. So just be aware of that when you're working with ACES and exporting LUTs. It could be, uh, make sure that you're testing in a variety of lighting conditions uh, to make sure that you get the best results. The whole point is for you guys to start working in ACES in Final Cut or somewhere else. I think it is a powerful tool that it's not being used because it might be a little bit complicated. So I hope that this clears up a lot of these questions on ACES. I hope this was helpful. Let me see if I've missed anything else. Yeah, so that was the process we went through with the free workflow in, in using DaVinci, which is absolutely free. Other than that, I think that's it. We've got links to everything. Oh, one more thing I did forget to mention is if you want to create your own and you want to really dial it in, I would suggest getting a color checker. I have two that I would recommend. That they're going to be on the links below. That's it. You guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this was informational. I hope you learned something new. I hope that you begin to include ACES in your workflow. It's very simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, and that's it. One last thing. If you want to know my settings for my color settings for DaVinci Resolve, here they are. We're going to head down to our little gear icon. Color management. This is what I have. This is how I have it set up. So that's my whole workflow in ACES using Final Cut. Um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you learned something new. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you watch this far, just leave a comment with I heart ACES. I'd love to know who watched this far. Um, anyways, all the links are gonna be down below. Uh, subscribe if you found value. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I'll just type it in the comments below. I heart aces. That would mean the world to me. Thanks so much for thanks so much.